Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, uh, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, April 14th of 2024. And I just received uh, this email from YouTube. And it says, uh, Hi, Jim Howard. We wanted to let you know our team reviewed your content. By the way, I think that's a lie. And we think it violates our spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy. We know you may not have realized that this was a violation of our policies, and we're not applying a strike to your channel. However, we have removed the following content from YouTube. And then that's the U.S. Uh, uh, or the uh, <coughs> link for uh, uh, you, you know, a site. Uh, Location where URL was found, the Blue Angels Wings Over Cowtown Air Show, today and tomorrow. We realize this may be disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal this decision, and you'll find more details below. Um... Our policy says content that links to sites that contain spam, scrams, whatever that is, or other deceptive practices isn't allowed on YouTube. Learn more. I'm not going to click on it. <laughs> you know, you can do next. What can you do next? We want to help you keep your content on YouTube, so please review your YouTube's community guidelines, which I'm not going to do. Double check how your content may have violated our guidelines, which I'm not going to do. Appeal here if you think we made a mistake, which I'm not going to do. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us here. Sincerely, the YouTube team. Okay. Now, I think we all already knew, maybe not, but I think we all already knew that this is an automated, you know, this is an automated thing that runs. And YouTube, I think, uh, I've never, you know, I've never challenged them. I've never, I remember walking through a mall uh, uh, that was just about practically empty and is it's still there, but it doesn't have anything in it, you know, in the shopping mall. And I could barely hear, I came in one of the far entrances, you know, and was walking through, there was no customers, that, you know. I'm walking through the place and there's background music, you know, going, which I can barely hear. I'm walking through and as I'm walking through with my cell phone, I'm saying, I hope this doesn't get a copyright hit, you know. And sure enough, it got a copyright hit. <laughs> I couldn't even hear the music. Um, but I have some hearing loss. But uh, anyway, um, also I remember, uh, and I've done this a bunch of times. That's just, this is what I one of the things that I do, and a bunch of other people do it. Now, are there people violating big time on YouTube and other places? Uh, copyright? I'm sure there. Yeah, you know that that's happening. I'm sure it is. I don't know. I I don't think I've ever done it. Um, but I, th I think what is, I think this is an example, you know, of what's going on. Uh, you know, YouTube is not just YouTube. All these places <coughs> are set up, there's companies that are set up uh, with a lawyer who's not, you know. <laughs> in fact, I... Have been told, told. I don't think I checked it out, but then in Texas, in Texas, someplace I'm in Texas, by the way. That there is some small town that uh, almost nobody lives in the town. There's a small office building <clears throat> that uh, has a name. You know, they're in this office building that nobody's there. Well, maybe there's somebody. You know, maybe there's an office down there where somebody, where they make sure that the 
floors are cleaned or the lights are turned on or, you know, maybe there's somebody there. But all these offices, I, I was told, in fact, I think it was like a thing on 60 Minutes or something like that. Somebody was doing a report on that, that all these offices, there's nobody in them. And maybe it's a five-story building or something. It's a small town. <laughs> you know, there may be like five floors or maybe there's 10 floors. And every one of the, there's nobody in any of the, any of the offices. There's just a sign, you know, uh, John Doe, attorney at law, and maybe a number to call or something. I don't know. I don't know, you know. Nobody's there. Uh, and this was back at the time when, uh, I'm not even sure did YouTube exist. I'm not even sure if they existed. But uh, that was for kids mainly who were downloading uh, music, you know. Uh, instead of paying for it, they were downloading it somehow. And families, you know, <laughs> mom and dad would get a, a, a bill, you know. Uh, you know, you owe $15,000, you know, for stolen, you know, stuff that's copyrighted, something like that. And, of course, people were sending money. You know, some people were probably <laughs> hiding, you know. But uh, that was that made big news for a while. And then we moved into the era of, you know, YouTube and other things like that. And I think that's where that originated. And I think that stuff, you know, there are machines running. You know, if you're a musician, and, and sure, you should be paid if, if somebody is, you know, taking your, copying your material and giving it to somebody else and, you know, and, you know, going in and buying, uh, I don't think they make, do they make 45 RPM? Do they make 33 and a third? I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's where all this uh, originated. And in this small town, apparently, you know, nobody shows up. Uh, but if you did show up, there's one lawyer in the courthouse, you know, there's a judge, and I guess the judge has a clerk and maybe even has a bailiff or something, you know, there. Maybe a, maybe a police officer of the town can afford a police officer are there. And that's the only people probably in town. Maybe there's a filling station or something. And so if somebody shows up in court, you know, the guilty, you owe such and such amount of money. If you don't show up, guilty, that person owes such and such a bunch of money, you know. And So this is, I think... What YouTube has done is they know that they're going to, they've, they've agreed to this deal, you know, okay, with these uh, music companies or musicians or whatever, or even other YouTubers, you know, that they don't want to be, YouTube doesn't want to be contacted by, you know, a hundred, a thousand, or maybe ten thousand. I don't know. I don't have any idea, except YouTube is big. Thanks to me and people like me, by the way. Uh, you know. Um, so, you know, what they're doing is, uh, instead of having to hire a thousand or ten thousand employees to deal with these people that would be contacting you, uh, you know, I, I make videos of uh, raccoons or whatever, and somebody used my material and whatever, and I, they shouldn't do that. And then instead of having to deal with that person or somebody like that, you know, you can just have the thing automated. Okay, you know, our, we scanned all these videos that come in, and uh, we issued a, a, a warning, you know, to them or whatever. And otherwise, you know, maybe now they have 25 employees that have to handle some stuff like that. Or maybe they have 50 employees that handle some stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe they only have 10. You know, maybe they don't have fucking any, you know. I doubt that. I got, I, I'm sure they have to have a few <clears throat> that are living, you know, breathing people. But uh, let me give you another example. By the way, did I mention that <laughs> at the mall I was walking through, there was nobody there. 
and I couldn't understand, I couldn't hear what the music was, or whatever, you know, they sent me a, a thing, okay, there's a copyright, you know, thing, now, don't worry about it, but, you know, don't do that anymore. Um, uh, so things like that happen, and it's also other people's, you know, videos, you know. Now, I don't understand how this, how this can really work, because I've seen a few videos on YouTube I've never watched them more than, you know, a, a minute or two or something, where somebody is reviewing a movie. Now, you're allowed, by the way, to review content. I'm not a lawyer. I don't like lawyers. <laughs> I've never had any trouble with lawyers, but I don't like them. Um, so... Um, Anyway, oh, I wanted to mention this too, because one of the shows I really like is the Antiques Roadshow. I watched the Antiques Roadshow here in the United States for years on, when I was using a television set, you know. And now you can, I can get it on the internet, you know. Uh, but uh, the Antiques Roadshow from the United States, I didn't realize that the Antiques Roadshow started in the UK and, the U you know, the U.S., public television or whatever, they copied that idea. Then I started watching, you know, on the internet, the Antiques Roadshow. And I like it a lot better the way it's, you know, the way it's done in the UK. Uh, but um, what I think YouTube is doing is, you know, they have it's set up to scan. Oh, okay, the Antiques Roadshow in the uh, the United States, was it? Hmm, let me think. It didn't really matter. Uh, anyway, the Antiques Roadshow. I was making, like I am now, making a video and saying, man, I really love the Antiques Roadshow. And I watched it in the United States on public television or whatever. And then I found out that it started out in the UK and was going for a long time, and in the United States Public Television, they said, hey, let's do an American version of that, or whatever, and I said, ah, this, you know, it's just really great, I really love it, and, I'm, and so I clicked on the Antiques Roadshow, uh, which one did I click? I clicked on the Antiques Roadshow, well, it doesn't matter, anyway, I clicked on it, as I was talking to you all, on the video, <clears throat> and the music popped up for the beginning of the, you know, for the beginning of the thing. Now, normally, I stop that, you know. You know, it's music, and it's copyrighted, and, uh, and bullshit, you know. And, <laughs> but I always, you know, try to hit, the, and I couldn't find the, uh, I forget why, couldn't find the key to silence it, so uh, maybe 30 seconds of it played or something before, I, okay, I got it, you know. Copyright strike, you know, they send me one of these, you know, one of these things, which I ignore. And, uh, uh, except I ignore it, except I try to remember, okay, make sure, you know, that I, I know how to, where, I, where the volume control is or something here. And uh, so, what you, you know, what YouTube is doing, and if I were there, financial CEO, whatever you call that. I guess a CEO is a head of the corporation, I guess, or some other number, letters, you know, that is the guy that's the financial, you know, guru of the, the thing or whatever makes up the thing. You know, if I was, um, you know, if I was them, I'm, I'd probably do the uh, same thing instead of having to hire, well, like YouTube would have to hire maybe a 1,000 or maybe 10,000 to deal with the complaints they're getting. But they have this automated system, and maybe they only have 25 people, or maybe 20, I don't know, that actually, you know. Uh, now it says here, you know, learn more. No, I don't want to learn more. What can you do next? Oh, okay. I don't even remember seeing this part. We want to help you keep your content on YouTube, so please review the YouTube's community guidelines. No, I don't want to. 
because I'm really not doing anything wrong. Uh, double check how your content may have violated our guidelines. No, I don't want to do that. Appeal here if you think we made a mistake. Okay, I'm not going to do that either. If you have any further questions, please feel to reach out to us here. No, I don't want to do that either. Now, by the way, their complaint was that uh, a guy who lives a few blocks away from here, by the way, and is a personal friend of mine, and uh, who uh, is an amateur radio operator, and I'm an amateur radio operator, so we're kind of like brothers, you know. And uh, I don't have a car, and I had to have cataract surgery done on both my eyes at different times, and I had to have somebody responsible with me who had to stay, who had to drive me there and drive me home and had to be there while I was there, who was responsible. And that was at least four times, but he went with me a couple extra times when he didn't really need to be there for, you know. So I, but I know he was there four times because it's for the surgery. And then I had to go the next day, the same requirement, I had to have somebody, you know, so he went at least four times, and I know he went more than that, because I told him several times, you don't need to go with me, uh, Michael, <clears throat> for this, you know, and he said, no, I'll go with you, Jim. So, now, by the way, as soon as I posted this thing yesterday that I did about the Blue Angels thing, and I was, you know, you can watch it, because uh, <clears throat> I put a link to it yesterday. When the thing was going on and I found it, I, uh, you know, put a link to it and, uh, you know, talked a little bit about it and said, hey, you know, and they're going to, the thing, the Blue Angels, and they wait till day, you know, today it's, they're not there yet because it's, only, well, they're there, I guess, at the airport probably. Uh, maybe they flew in from the next airport or who knows. Does it matter, Jim? No, it doesn't matter. So, uh, anyway, Michael sent me, right after I posted the thing yesterday about this thing, and that, man, you should go to this, you know, uh, channel on YouTube, because the guy is doing a great job, and here you can see he's recorded it, you know, and you can see from yesterday, the Blue Angels thing entirely, and today he's going to cover, he's going to cover that, and he thanked me a lot. For doing that. So I think I've made my point. Um, if I were YouTube, well, I find it hard being, uh, I probably would do the same thing. You know, your financial officer says, and your legal team, you know, that you have, probably 200 people, you know. I mean, you contract with a, you know, with a uh, group or something. There are not 200 people sitting there, but they probably have an office with 10, you know, there because that's how much shit probably goes on, you know. And uh, so now my video, you know, is staying up. Um, well, I don't know if I'll be able to see. Okay, let's see. I wonder if I go to this. No, I don't want to do that because if I get, a, you know, a copyright, you know, <laughs> a copyright hit. But I'll make another video, but I won't mention, you know, um, I'll put the link to it, but I won't go to it, you know what I mean? But it's, you know, it's finances, you know, it's it's money. And it's kind of interesting, too, because I don't think I've, commented on that or not uh, YouTube has a new thing which when you go to YouTube you won't see but a person who's making YouTubes will see when we make a video and we upload it then we have to go through you know we have to put in the date and that you know of course some of that information pops up and automatically but they've added a new thing and it says you know that you have to fill this out and there's, uh, 
Uh, three questions. What is it? Um, oh, okay. Have you modified any of the videos that shows somebody saying something different than what they really said? Have you uh, played any video where somebody's appearance was changed in some way? And have you, and there was like three of these things like that. And I think that's a good idea. Um, because of, you know, artificial intelligence. Because you've got people uh, making fake, you know, fake videos, you know. You know, you could have, well, like the video that somebody made of, uh, a picture, a, a video or whatever, of uh, a interviewer there at a desk and they're laying on the table there with the head down is somebody who appears to be President Joe Biden, and of course it's not. <laughs> and, uh, but it looks, you know, and so that's to keep that kind of stuff from happening. And that's a good idea because this has gone... I've made a couple little tiny short, not using anybody's appearance, not using, but I have made, uh, I've copied, I've gone to artificial intelligence and put in, uh, and I mentioned that, I explained it in pre a previous video or two, uh, uh, what is Howard's notebook? And it comes back, you know, and I had, put some of this type of material myself, you know, I'd gathered it up and put it, but uh, it came back a little bit improved, and I mean, basically it was 70 or 80 percent of, you know, what I've made up, or what was said about Howard's Notebook or something, but, uh, and I've used that, you may see that on my thing at the top or at the bottom or something, really. you may see that, and art of, it, it's true, you know, Oh, uh, the President Biden thing where he's asleep, you know, and they put, you know, the right wing or whatever, the Trump people or whatever. Oh, look, you know, the President of the United States was waiting to be interviewed, and he, he he's so old he fell asleep. It wasn't, it was somebody else. <laughs> it wasn't the President of the United States, and it wasn't... Uh, Donald Trump or anybody, it was some random guy or whatever, you know, <laughs> maybe there to talk about a new uh, a town, a new little thing opening in the, their town of 5,000 people or whatever, and that's big news for the local TV station or something. It wasn't, and that kind of stuff happens. And I don't have a problem with checking that, you know. No, I haven't changed, you know, I haven't and but there are people doing that kind of stuff and that shouldn't be allowed but there's other stuff going on on youtube <clears throat> that they should be taken care of and i really i really hate it that they're making such you know fake stuff and i'm sure you've seen this how many times have you <clears throat> watched a youtube <clears throat> youtube video i've seen a bunch of them uh, it'll be, oh, wow, you just got to watch it. You got to watch this. There was a, a, a little boy, five years old, or four, let's make it better, that he's two years old, and it's uh, freezing weather, and he, he wandered off from his yard. And uh, so the community gathered around, you know, and then they show the pictures of different people who are not the people, you know. One, this may not even have happened. Or it may have actually happened that a boy wandered off. And then they'll show the boy. It's not the boy. Because <laughs> there was nobody there to take a picture of him, you know, in the thing. And then they'll show the boy again, but it's a different picture of a different boy. And then they'll say, oh, the police were immediately out there, you know, in uh, Texas. And, of course, you don't know whether it's Texas or, you know. Uh, but you'll see a police car, Kansas City, Missouri police car. Huh. And that's looking for the little boy. And then you'll see one from Chicago that they pulled in and they needed another picture. 
and then you maybe you'll see, you know, and they just put this shit together. 80 or 90 percent of it totally fake because there wouldn't be, a, you know, there wasn't anybody there, you know. Mom and dad found the little boy or maybe the local sheriff, you know. You know, maybe he was the only one on duty looking, you know, but they'll show 10 different pictures of him. I mean, that's, uh, and they do a lot of that. And now I, I'm not sure if it's on, um, uh, TikTok or not, because, but I've seen a few things, I think, on TikTok <clears throat> that I, oh, well, okay, here's what they're doing. <clears throat> there used to be, I guess, a limit on, a short limit on how long a video could be on TikTok. And I think I had some people, I think, I had some people say, Jim, you should make a TikTok video. And uh, I said, I think the thing was like five minutes or something like that in the beginning. If you're a TikTok fan, you can, you know, correct me. And I said, I can't. Uh, <laughs> it takes me 10 minutes to say who I am and what time it is or something, you know. So I couldn't do it. I think they've increased, because I heard that they'd increased it to uh, further along, like 10 minutes or something. And then I heard that they that you could make a 20-minute TikTok thing. Now, just the other day, I uh, want, I, I made about 10, actually my daughter, my oldest, LaDonna, she actually made the videos. I went out there to Washington, D.C., because I always wanted to go to Washington, D.C., because I would when I was in grade school, I was interested in politics and Washington, D.C. and the White House and all that kind of stuff. And I'm 83 now, and so a few years ago, five years or whatever ago, I finally went to Washington, D.C. And I just got there, and of course my, my daughter tried to arrange it where the cherry bottom blossoms would be blooming like they do, I guess, once a year there, and timed it perfectly, you know. I got there and they came to pick me up at the airport, her and her husband, and it, they bloomed, you know, and I spent uh, two weeks there. And LaDonna, with her cell phone, an apple, she made, you know, uh, the videos there, about 15 of them of me. And so they're on my site here someplace. There's Washington, D.C., and you can watch those videos. Uh, a few people have watched them, uh, but um, okay. Why was I going to that subject? There was a reason that Jim was. Um, well, anyway. Um, Oh, that's it. Oh, that the reason. Okay, I'm talking about this now. So I've got those videos. You can watch them. Not a lot of you will be interested, but but you should be interested in how great she was with just an Apple cell phone. Uh, she went and made the videos when we were out. She came back, and while we were talking about it or whatever the day, because we did it every other day, so I could rest in between. I'm so glad I got to go, because. I've watched, you know, Mr. Smith goes to Washington and watched all, and all the stories and then all the news things, you know, for things that, you know, the Vietnam uh, Memorial and all this kind of stuff. And I got to, you know, I got to uh, actually see those things. And now when I watch them, something happens in Washington, D.C., I can say to myself, you know, oh, I, I stood right, you know, I stood right there in front of that door and stuff like that, so. So that was neat. But she also, when we got to her place, she, with her Apple cell phone, she made, you know, the, the things that you see. You know, she did it all right on her cell phone easily. So I think I mentioned one time, somebody should buy me an Apple cell phone. <laughs> you know. But you know, something, by the way, that I did is I've never really touched an Apple product because I knew that, you know, I would like it and I couldn't afford it, you know. 
I knew that I would like it, and I knew too. I probably would, didn't have that what it took to to do that, and I didn't want to do something on a cell phone. But uh, anyway, um, did I mention that this? I think I did. That uh, Michael, who uh, this site that he's covering the um, you know live and in living color, that uh, he and he did a fantastic job. And uh, did I mention that he sent me a, as soon as I posted that thing, when he was still doing the broadcast, you know, when I posted a thing for, I'll try to put that link below, by the way. Um, I, uh, to his site. Uh, but, yeah, I did. I think I, I mentioned the fact that, you know, we're personal friends. And as soon as I made that thing, while he was still covering the the uh, event there at the uh, air base, uh, you know, that were personal friends, and that he immediately sent me a thing thanking me, and then I get a thing, you know, today from, you know, YouTube. I know their, their job probably is not... Their job isn't easy, but come on, guys. Uh, good potato salad. It's from Walmart. How long have I been talking? No, 31 seconds, or 31 minutes. Did I violate any? I didn't. I couldn't up today. <laughs> it's just me. By the way, I'm sort of marking time because I convention. I didn't have to beg my my, my ex-wife and myself. We share this apartment. She pays part, and I pay part, and it takes that. Uh, you know, separately, she lived here for hell. I think 15 years before I moved, you know, we were divorced. 15 years before I moved here, I think. And then uh, I moved here, and for several years, you know, she lived in her apartment with my grown, our grown son. And I was living over here with my uh, grandson. And then uh, my grandson's mother came from Sweden, you know, and then she rented a place here, and he went there, and then it was just me over here, and then her and I, you know, and the cost kept going up every, you know, every uh, year or whatever. Is that all on the lease? I think, yeah, it's a one-year lease, I think. And then the rent always goes up. And, you know, she had, back at that time, it was cable television, you know, and I had cable television, and she doesn't like to spend money, believe me. She is very, and I'm the opposite. I love to spend money for stuff, toys, you know, cameras, uh, computers, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, not guns anymore. I only had one gun, but after being a, a security officer for, 30 years and a police officer and having a full county commission and everything like that in 2000 I no longer needed to be you know I was no longer required to carry a gun at all times so I got rid of my guns I don't have any guns by the way if you happen to see it I have a safe in here there is no gun in the safe there is no money in the safe there's birth certificates, baptismal certificates, uh, all kinds of stuff like that in the safe, but no guns and no money, okay? I know it's hard to believe that there's somebody in Texas who doesn't have a gun, but I do not have a gun. So I'd have to kill you with my bare hands Except I can't, bear, I can barely stand up. <laughs> yeah. So, um, 
Anyway, I think I've spoke my piece, and this is 34 minutes. And I, I sent my friend Michael uh, the thing just now, showing him this or whatever, just so he'll know, and just so he, you know, he sent me a thing saying he really, really appreciated that, you know, I put information about his site and the links and all that kind of stuff, but I probably won't do that again unless I'm sure I can do it and not get, I guess I can put the link there and say, hey, but anyway, it just makes it, just makes it all harder for us, but I'm glad that YouTube is you know, providing this since 2005, and I hope they appreciate what I did, so there could be a YouTube starting that I started doing in uh, 1982, and that I was streaming video before there was a YouTube, before there was any of those places, and I hope they appreciate that. Uh, it's too bad I can't find some way to, uh, I wouldn't do it though, you know, like send them some type of a copyright, you know, thing <laughs> automatically. Maybe generate, you know, of course I guess that would be harassment or something. They've had, they have lawyers, you know. You know, too bad I can't every hour, you know, have an automatically send a thing saying, you know, uh, violation, you know, I did that, you know before 2005, before, you know, you all existed or whatever. Too bad I can't, you know, somehow, but I'm, they're not even paying me. <laughs> I can't figure out how to, uh, you know, I've been with them, with uh, YouTube since 2005. Um, and I can't figure out how to, there's three things you have to enter in order to be paid. And a whole bunch of people, how many millions of people, I guess, have uh, done that? I can't figure out how to do it. I've got one out of three done, and I've been with them since 2005, and I have, you know, a few subscribers, and uh, I get a little bit of traffic, and I'm not getting any money. I get from, from YouTube, I get uh, zero. So, anyway... Uh, thank you very much for watching.